Tomo News presents Melting Glaciers. Huge crack threatens Antarctic ice shelf. The effects of global warming have reached even the coldest corners of the world and now threaten to collapse Antarctica's fourth largest ice shelf. The Larsen Sea Ice Shelf sits on the northernmost part of the Antarctic Peninsula and is slightly smaller than Scotland. The entire area consists of a thick sheet of ice that extends from ice caps on land and floats over deep ocean waters. Warming temperatures have caused cracks to form across Larsen Sea since 2011, with the rift growing 22 kilometers and widening to 350 meters in the past few months. The now 130 kilometer long rift may soon cause about 10% of the ice shelf to break off. The partial loss of Larsen Sea will not itself raise sea levels, but ice being held back by the shelf may flow faster into the sea and contribute to its global rise. Scientists likewise fear that the loss of a huge chunk of ice will render the Larsen Sea ice shelf unstable and cause it to disintegrate, like Larsen's A and B before it. West Antarctic ice sheet collapse is underway. A number of studies published in the past year show that the melting of the West Antarctic ice sheet is likely unstoppable. The glacier will probably disappear in a matter of centuries, adding 13 feet of water to sea levels, according to NASA. Researchers at Washington University in St. Louis recorded two bursts of seismic activity at the same location beneath Antarctica's ice sheet leading them to discover an active volcano that will speed the rate of ice mass loss in West Antarctica. Eruptions are unlikely to break through the surface of the ice, but volcanic activity would melt the sheet, generating large volumes of water that would speed the flow of overlaying ice draining into the Ross Ice Shelf. Another study shows that warmer water at the depths of the ocean forms caverns beneath the ice, wearing away ice grounded on the ocean floor. These studies conclude that Antarctic instability will significantly contribute to sea level rise in the decades to come. Thought climate change predictions were scary. Well, they just got a whole lot scarier. The possible effects of climate change are far worse and could come far sooner than we previously thought. So says James Hansen, a leading climate change researcher who was among the first to warn the public about the serious effects of the buildup of carbon dioxide. The former director of NASA's Institute for Space Studies, along with 18 other leading climate scientists, published a paper this week predicting rapid sea level rises could happen within decades. A team of researchers primary claim that as the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica melt, a layer of cold fresh water will build up over the ocean, trapping warmer, salty ocean water, with which it doesn't easily mix, underneath the surface, and thereby leading to a feedback loop that causes ice shelves to melt even more rapidly effectively slowing down and possibly shutting down ocean circulation. An idea apparently not too dissimilar from the premise of the 2004 disaster movie The Day After Tomorrow. The scientists believe that this ice melting will cool polar regions of the globe and warm areas around the equator, causing stark temperature variances that could make superstorms such as Hurricane Sandy, which struck the U.S. East Coast with devastating effect in 2012, far more frequent. To argue their case, the researchers controversially claim that storms during the warm Eemian period 120,000 years ago were powerful enough to lift massive boulders, 1,000 tons in size, from the bottom of the ocean and hurl them ashore. Hansen and his team believe a multimeter sea level rise could occur before the end of the century and envelop all of the planet's coastal cities. Despite the dire predictions, Hansen, in an accompanying video, explained that there may possibly still be an opportunity to reverse this worrying trend, saying, quote, I doubt that we have passed the point of no return, but frankly, we're not certain of that. New study reveals cause of glacier melt in Greenland. During the summer of 2015, Greenland experienced its highest rate of glacier melt ever recorded. A study shows the record high melt is linked to the effects of a phenomenon known as Arctic amplification. Arctic amplification refers to the faster warming of the Arctic compared to the rest of the northern hemisphere as sea ice disappears. It is fueled by a feedback loop. 
Rising global temperatures are melting Arctic sea ice, leaving dark open water that absorbs more solar radiation, further warming the Arctic. According to the study, the atmosphere and the oceans combined are contributing to the melting of vast ice sheets off the coast of northern Greenland. The effects of Arctic amplification are unknown, but scientists believe it can change the Arctic jet stream flow, which circles the northern latitudes. Jet streams are narrow bands of strong winds in the upper atmosphere that follow the boundaries of hot and cold air. In the Arctic's case, frigid polar air is separated from warmer air in the south, a slowdown in the jet stream would cause wilder swings and allow it to bend farther north than usual, creating a high-pressure system called a cutoff high. The cutoff high draws in warm air from lower latitudes, leading to greater ice melt conditions. The study found that during the warmest summer in Greenland, the jet stream reached latitudes never before recorded during that time of year. The Arctic amplification is now cited as the cause for the melting of Greenland's ice sheet, which is the Earth's second largest after Antarctica. The ice sheet holds enough ice that if it were to melt entirely, it would raise the average global sea level by about 7 meters and lead to ocean warming worldwide. More worrying news from Antarctica. NASA reports that an iceberg about the size of Delaware split off from Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf between July 10th and July 12th. Scientists warn that the breakoff could trigger new ice cracks and cause even more icebergs to separate from the shelf. Ice shelves are the floating parts of glaciers that act as a support mechanism. In a stable glacier ice shelf system, the glacier's downhill movement is offset by the buoyant force of the water at the ice shelf front. The system is destabilized when warmer temperatures melt both the surface and underside of the ice shelves, and this eventually leads to calving. However, collapsed ice shelves do not directly contribute to sea level rise as they float. Once the ice shelves are calved, the buoyant force that previously offset glacier flow is gone, and the glacier can slide into the ocean to rapidly affect sea levels. Experts say the remaining 90% of the Larsen ice shelf is held in place by the Bodden ice rise to the north of the rift and Gipps ice rise to the south. Therefore, the ice shelf is unlikely to collapse in the near term. Watermelon snow is melting Arctic glaciers. A recent study published by scientists in Europe found that algae within Arctic snow is making Arctic glaciers melt faster. Watermelon snow is triggered by a type of green algae known as Clematomanus nivalis, which lies dormant during the winter under piles of snow. When temperatures rise above freezing in the spring, the surface melts and the meltwater brings nutrients to the dormant algae cells, stimulating germination. The cells then release green swimming cells with two flagella to propel them to the surface of the snow and daylight. In order to protect themselves from the increased UV light, the algae produce a red carotenoid pigment that changes their colors to pink and red. Ice and snow have a high reflectivity, or albedo, but the red algae darkens the snow and causes it to absorb more sunlight, reducing the albedo of snow by as much as 13%. The melted snow leads to the algae growth, which darkens the snow and causes more to melt, which in turn triggers an algal bloom. Scientists estimate that at least 50% of the snow surface in the Arctic will be covered by algal bloom during the summer. In addition to the Arctic, watermelon snow can also be found in places including Antarctica, the Himalayas, and the Rocky Mountains. Mega Iceberg Breaks Up with Antarctica This is the winter wonderland known as Antarctica, and it just lost a whole lot of volume. This week, an iceberg broke apart from the Pine Island Glacier in Antarctica. Loss of ice from the glacier contributes to a one millimeter rise in the world's oceans every eight years. The part that broke apart is said to be 4.5 times the size of New York's Manhattan Island. And the word is, glaciers are a much cooler place to live than Manhattan. Iceberg Ahead all eyes are on the ice, as an Antarctic ice shelf that's thousands of years old is days away from shedding a massive berg. Cracks on Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf were first noticed in 2010. 
The rift has grown rapidly since 2016, with only three miles of ice keeping the chunk connected to the main shelf. When it eventually gives way, the resulting iceberg will be one of the largest on record. Estimated to be about 190 meters thick, the iceberg contains enough ice to fill 460 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. The colossal mass of ice won't raise sea levels when it breaks off, but it might make the rest of the shelf less stable, possibly leading it to disintegrate and collapse into the sea. If this happens, some scientists believe an ancient glacier currently being held back by the ice shelf could raise sea levels by about four inches. Scientists say icebergs calving from Antarctica are not terribly uncommon, but they'll be monitoring this one as it drifts from the ice shelf due to its large size. Scientists have found huge ice channels under the Filchner-Rhone ice shelf in West Antarctica. One channel was about 250 meters high and 300 meters wide, making it close to the height of the Eiffel Tower and width of the Tower Bridge of London. Research has revealed that cold meltwater under the ice sheet entering the ocean causes warmer seawaters to plume upwards, which then melts out the vast channels under the ice shelf. Scientists believe the findings will help them understand how Antarctica will respond to climate change in the future. Icebergs six times the size of Manhattan drifting towards Southern Ocean. Scientists are monitoring one of the largest icebergs currently in existence after it broke off from an Antarctic glacier and began drifting into the open ocean. The giant iceberg could pose a threat to shipping during the Antarctic winter. The iceberg, labeled B31, measures about 660 square kilometers and is said to be roughly six times the size of Manhattan. It is estimated to be around a third of a mile or 500 meters thick. Since November 2013, it has slowly separated from Antarctica's Pine Island Glacier and will likely soon be swept up in the currents of the Southern Ocean. Researchers are concerned that when that happens, the iceberg will become more difficult to track. And since they don't expect it to melt due to its size, the iceberg could hang around for a year or even more.